Hey guys, this is Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Got me a new tool for my test bench here, the SMD DD1. And the reason I added this to my test bench is not to set my gains, which I will use it for that, but the main purpose was um, for my amp output measurements. The DD1 uh, detects distortion at 1%. So this is a great tool to use to find out when the amplifiers that I'm measuring are get to 1% distortion. And I can't always tell by the O-scope because the display element is not the best in the world. So I'm having to kind of uh, make an uh, educated guess as to when it's distorting. But now I have a precision tool, the SMD DD1. So now let me show you how I set my gains properly on my Yamaha receiver. Alright, I may have mentioned to you guys before that I decided to start using this Yamaha RX-V670 home theater receiver uh, mainly because it's got a huge analog volume knob so it makes it really easy to um, get precise measurements when I'm doing my amp outputs. This receiver does have a preamp output, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the output level, the volts RMS, to see uh, what kind of voltage it puts out using the DD1 and the O-scope. So let's try it out and see. Okay, hopefully you can see on the screen here on the iPod Nano, I used the DD1 disc that came with the DD1. I put it into iTunes and actually ripped it to my hard drive using the Apple lossless format so that I could put it on my iPod Nano here for testing and I wouldn't have to use a CD. You know, CDs are old school, so we need digital files. And the Apple lossless file will guarantee that it won't lose any quality from the original, so that's great. So let's give her a roll and... Um, test out and see what the volts RMS of the Yamaha are. Okay, real quick before, the do to, before I do the test, I have the RCA left jack going straight into the DD1, as you may be able to see right there at the top, and I have the right one um, hooked up to the O-scope. So this is a both channel test tone both channels should be equally the same so it shouldn't matter in other words I should get the same rating on both so let's try it out and see what we get all right I'm gonna do the test with track 4 which is a 1 kilohertz minus 5 dB track and I'm turning up my volume here it should get the signal detect there we go on the DD1 and watch the O scope on the right and there we have the one kilohertz detect. And I'm turning it up, turning it up till we see the distortion line on the DD1. There we go. So back it up just a little bit, right there. So it looks like we have 1.89 volts of clean RMS output through the uh, Yamaha receiver. And I'm gonna move the camera real quick and show you something. You may or may not be able to tell, but my max volume that I measured from the O-scope by itself was just a little bit less. Um, so I was a little bit conservative on my rating, but based on what the DD1 tells us. So anyway, looks like I was pretty close, but the DD1 is guaranteeing 1% distortion, and we're not getting any distortion at this volume, so this is great. All right, you guys out there with the Hawkeyes probably noticed that the distortion line on the DD1 came back on at that 1.895 volts RMS level. So I backed it down just a little bit. It's around 1.7, and that's the volts RMS um, output from the Yamaha receiver. Not that that really matters that much. It just gives me an idea of where to set the gains on the uh, amps when I do the, the max output RMS power. Well, there you go, folks. This is the demo showing off the SMD DD1 added to the old school stereo.com test bench. Can't wait to test some amplifiers to find out when they hit 1% harmonic distortion and see what their RMS wattage output is. So stay tuned. Test updates are coming soon. Find out what your favorite old school amplifier puts out. 
and RMS power at 1% distortion. This is Big D Wiz. I'm out of here.